everyone now in this video i will let you know how to make your own home automation project using which you can control not four not eight not 12 but up to 16 appliances over internet from anywhere in this world so let's get started So for making this project, you will need these many components which includes one ESP32 board as a central controller, 16 PCs of 5V relay, BC547 transistors, 1 and 4007 diodes, 330 ohm resistors and 2 pin terminal connectors. Then you will need one buzzer and one socket for power input. And the connections of all the components is something like this. Now here I have used this 5V 2A power adapter which is sufficient for providing power to all 16 relays. In the circuit diagram, I have shown the connection of only one relay with ESP32 so that the diagram looks neat. But with the similar connections, you can attach up to 16 relays at 16 different pins of ESP32. And I also attached one buzzer at D5 pin which will give feedback of internet connectivity. Now to arrange all the components in a specific order and make the project look neat, I designed my own PCB on EasyEDA.com and gave its order to JLCPCB directly. You can too order these same PCBs whose design link I have attached in the description of this video. Just go to that link, download the Gerber file and upload it on JLCPCB. Now after selecting the masking color, just pay for your order. Within a couple of days, you will be receiving these amazing PCBs at your doorstep. So try out JLCPCB once to make your projects look neat and more professional. If you want the PCB of this project or any other project, then I am giving away free PCBs with every Techie SMS t-shirt order. Just select the project name whose PCB you want on the t-shirt order form. And you will get the PCB absolutely free with Techie SMS t-shirt. Link for t-shirt order is in the description of this video. Coming back to the video, now one by one I shouldered all the components on the PCB. I have placed this buzzer in between the ESP32 pins. And for ESP32 I have used this female bug strip so that I can easily attach and remove ESP32 from it. After shouldering all the components our project looks something like this. Neat and well arranged. Now let's jump to the coding part. So this is the code for our project. In this code, you need to make very little changes. First of all, give your router SSID name and password here so that our ESP32 board can talk to internet. Then here you need to provide one token number for your UV.s account. So let's first configure our UV.s account. Go to the UV.s.com and make an account here. After making an account, you'll get a page like this. Now click on devices and devices again, then click on create device. Select blank here, give a device name as ESP32. Now click on create button. So you successfully created the device. Now go inside this device. Here we will add some variable. So click on add variable button. Select raw and give it a name as relay1. Similarly, we will be creating 16 different variables and will give them name from relay 1 to relay 16. After successfully creating the variables, click on the UB.S logo which will open the home page. Now here, click on add new widget. Select switch. Click on add variable. Go inside this ESP32 and select relay 1. Now here, write the off message as 0 and on message as 1. And in the end, give the button name as Relay1. This will create one on off switch for Relay1. Similarly, we will be creating all 16 switches for different variables. So that's it. This is all you need to do onto your UBDOTS account. Now we have to enter the token in the code and for that, click here and select API credentials. Now click here to copy your account token. Go back to your code and paste that token here. That's it. This is what you need to change here in the code. 
rest of all the things will remain same. The relay pins are defined here, so make sure you attach all the relays at proper pins. And in the end, the buzzer is attached at D5 pin. Here, the buzzer gives the feedback about the MQTT broker connection. If our device gets successfully connected to MQTT broker, then it will give a long buzz of 1 second. And if the device is not connected to the internet or to the server, then the buzzer will buzz for 2 times with a 200 millisecond delay. Rest of the code is for receiving the data from MQTT broker and giving command to the relays according to the data received. Now let's just select our ESP32 board and click on the upload button. Now if you haven't used the ESP32 board before and don't know how to program it using Arduino, then kindly watch out this video in which I have explained how to get started with ESP32 using your Arduino IDE. So the code is successfully uploaded. Now here I inserted the ESP32 on the PCB then also made the electrical connection between the appliances and the relay according to this circuit diagram. So here for the demo purpose I have used the 7 appliances right now but you can go up to 16. Now before closing the box let's see if the code works or not. As you heard a long beep which reveals that it got successfully connected to UB server. Now, when I tried switching the relays, I found that the 7th relay was not working and when I opened the PCB design, I found one very silly mistake in my design. Here these two paths are getting short and due to this the 7th relay is always on and not getting signal from my ESP32. So what I did is I just scratched and removed the paths from here and here. Then I connected one jumper wire on the back and then the 7th relay was also started working. But you don't need to worry, I will correct the PCB design and then upload it on my EasyEDA account so that if you order with my PCB design, you won't be getting any mistakes. Now let's close the box, connect the appliances and see everything in action. So our project is perfectly working. I hope you liked this project and got to learn something new. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to watch more such amazing project tutorials. Other than project tutorials, I also used to upload some getting started videos on electronic components or products, some explained videos on different technology or sensor and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Tech ESMS.